Oh, hello, YouTube. Remember me? I'm back, like an ex-girlfriend. So in this episode, we're going to do an update to the G3X Touch. Uh, very recently, uh, Justin, the G3 expert from Garmin, announced in the Vans Aircraft forums that version 9.12 was released for the G3X Touch, as well as 8.16 for the G5, which some of us, some of you guys may have added uh, to our uh, aircraft after the fact. In here, he describes some of the uh, features. There's a lot of behind the scenes improvements that you don't necessarily see, but it's there to add uh, a little bit more redundancy and reliability to the system. And then he uh, goes on to mention that uh, the GI275, which is a newer product, a more expensive product, the, it's one of those round gauges with, the, you know, looks like an LCD panel. Uh, that's also su supported if you want to connect that up to the G3X Touch. Uh, and then he goes into some of the n newer features that would be more apparent to you. Improved traffic audio alerts will actually tell you the relative direction, altitude, and distance of the conflicting targets. Uh, optional audio alerts for high airspeed in case you go up to or you know, close to VNE. Uh, also a message, an oral message to state that you've reached a safe altitude in case you do have to do that impossible turn. Um, I guess that maybe over 500 feet, you're kind of guaranteed that you're going to be able to do it. Um, don't quote me on that figure. Uh, cast reminder message to set your barrow setting uh, before you launch. Um, I do know that that option is turned on by default after the update. A little uh, behavior change if you use the standby setting in your transponder. Most people leave their transponders to on or you know altitude reporting all of the time there's really no need to use standby unless you're doing formation flight uh, and uh, the other big things are the smart glide uh, glide range ring now it's uh, a little bit smarter in case you have partial power and some other updates here that he mentions now they uh, after about a week of that being on the market they recalled 912 and they issued 913 and uh, here we go. We're going to show you how to walk through the update. Go to fly.garmin.com, log in. You should ha already have an account here. Your aircraft should be registered with your, uh, your system ID number. And you click on the additional software. And it's basically telling you here that you need an SD card, 8 gigs or, or maximum 8 gigs. I had a 32 gig card. Anything 32 and below seems to work fine. The important thing is that you format it with FAT32, uh, EXFAT, which is required if you have a card over 32 gigs, isn't going to work. Uh, and they go through the basic uh, method to do the update. Uh, in, our, in our aircraft, do the co-pilot screen first if you have one, and then do the pilot side, the PFD. Uh, once the firmware is on the PFD, uh, that's when it will begin to push out any updates to any of the connected devices. So make sure your avionics are turned on when you do the PFD update. That seems to be pretty much what this page is telling you. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click this link to download the software. We want the version 9.13 uh, from December 9th. We're going to download that. There's also an update for the transponder, which came out back in October. Um, you might want to do that later on. It's a little bit more, uh, uh, there's more instructions with that, and uh, you don't want to screw that one up. But here, we're going to read through these terms and agreements here. Uh, that Yeah, that looks good. Uh, they go through some of the change history. Uh, some of these were mentioned in the VAF, uh, Vans Aircraft Forum. Uh, 910 to 912 stuff that was already mentioned Th they don't really they don't have really specifics in here the big update was 901 to 910 uh, that's when they added a lot of the uh, pilot facing features a lot of improvements improved chart display improved radio tuning uh, airspace alerting that was a problem in the previous version Sometimes you would get nonstop alerts when you were entering restricted airspace. Um, some other updates here. And then if you're still on 8.9, there's really no reason to be on 8.92 anymore or older. So we're going to go ahead and download. And then that went by pretty fast. We're going to run that. And we're going to 
click through this. Now, I don't have the SD card in my PC here at home. Of course, you want to read through that license agreement. And uh, if you click on next here, it's going to push that update down to your SD card. And lucky for you, I did have some footage of actually writing out the SD card. Uh, we'll watch this in real time. We'll see how long this takes. That's it. You're done. That was, uh, what, five, ten seconds? Make sure you safely eject that USB card. Uh, you want to make sure Windows is finished writing out all of the data to the card before you go ahead and remove it. So I'm going to pull it out. And we're going to walk over to the MFD. I'm going to put this card in, but it's not going to prompt me. I'm going to put the camera down for a second. I need my other hand to turn off the master and turn it back on. There we go. It's off. I'm going to put the card in and master on. Once it boots up, it's going to read the card, see what's on it. It's going to recognize that, hey, there's a software update on there. And it's going to prompt us uh, and ask us if we want to actually do the update. And we'll, we'll watch this in real time. We'll see how long this, this really takes. And there you go. Update to 913. Sure. Now, remember, this is only loading the update onto this G3X. We still have to do it on... PFD on the pilot side. So this is still part of the update. And after that, it's going to boot up normally. We'll wait till it finishes booting up, and then we can remove this SD card. They recommend that you only have the update on this card. Don't have any uh, anything else, any log files or whatever else. Um, I have had s other things on the card in the past during an update. Doesn't seem to be a, a huge problem. Um, but for this uh, this update, I did format the card. So we're going to go under the menus, and there is an option here to see the firmware version. Diagnostic and system, yeah, that's it. And it's hard to make out in this fuzzy camera, but the MFD is at 9.1.3. So it seems like our MFD updated okay. We're going to pop that card out, and we will turn on our avionics. Of course, when we do the update to the PFD, it's going to push out the update over the CAN bus to any other devices that are connected. So we'll pop that card in. And there it goes. It recognizes that there's an update on the card and we're going to do the update. This was surprising. The, the screen dimmed for a second. I wasn't sure what was going on, but that's just part of the, the update process. And same as we saw on the MFD. It's going to go through a couple screens here. Uh, the exact same screens. And again, this update seems pretty painless. Um, you know, Sometimes during a longer update, you're worried if something is stuck or maybe I should reboot something, but this was pretty quick. Says 913 there. That's good news. That's unexpected. Attitude fail. So maybe it's updating the AHARS unit in the back of the plane. So we're going to go into config mode and we're going to see what the firmware version is. I'm going to put the camera down for a second. I need two hands for this. Uh, go into config mode and you hold down the uh, menu button to go in. Once it says it's going into config mode you can 
take your finger off that menu button. There. So in this maze of options, we're gonna, I believe it's under system information, we'll go there. And yeah, okay, so we're seeing all of the versions for all of the different devices. And you see we have the roll servo, which is currently updating. Two more down, two more down. Yeah, that one. And over on the right side, you can see it's at 40%, 50%, 60%. And uh, there, so we now have we have the green checkbox for that. Oh, not yet. I also turned on the FADEC, uh, the lane A, lane B. I just wanted to make sure I got the green checkbox for the FADEC in there as well. I, and also, I suppose that there could be an update to the audio panel, so I turned that on as well. Everything looks green. There's no, uh, up the, the pitch is updating now. Okay. Now, remember, I'm going from 9.12 to 9.13. You might be going from version 8 to version 9.13 or uh, 9.01 to 9.13. So you may have more, uh, more updates to perform in here. And not that you have to do anything, but you just want to sit here and just watch it do its, do its business. Of course, at some point, the factory will announce that they, uh, they're they going to bless this new version. At least I hope they do. Uh, I'm sure they have loaded this firmware onto their factory demonstrators, and they're making sure that everything is still working good. Uh, I found that the factory has implemented the G3X system uh, per Garmin recommendations, so they're not doing anything crazy. So a small point release like this, should probably be okay. Um, your mileage may vary, but um, you can always roll back to a previous version. So that's about it. And they also recommend that you do not leave a software update installed in the G3X. That's about it for this episode. In our next episode, we're going to cover the Service Bulletin 58, which is the HIC module replacement. Until next time. <laughs>